Mam, wiem co trzeba zrobić. Język trzeba. A, naładuję. I shall recover the dragon's tongue. So nobody is alerted as to the origin of Russian mongrel's misfortune. It's as still as a convent after sundown in there. All right, what are those odd marks around the doorknob? What in the Seven Seas is this deadly device? Holy Toledo! It was only inches from slicing me belly open! That makes no sense. With a door in my way, we could be here for centuries. How's it hanging, dude? How vile! There's water inside, and what's worse is that it's clean. Back, I say. I wouldn't touch that bilge if it cured me of leprosy. I don't think that idea. No way, like Josh Joshua. And have the whole crew skewer me like a shish kebab? No thanks. I bet Malintunia's bought it on sale. You know, I'm glad to have that back. It hurts more than it weighs. He doesn't seem to feel like chatting. I hope he doesn't wake back up, or I'll have to knock him out again. He's... Either I do away with that bothersome sword, or I'll never get inside. That idea? That idea? <sighs> with that swindling swashbuckler on it? Not on your... Whether I like it or not, this is a work of art, and I have to respect it. The truth is, he doesn't have an ounce of fat on his lean body. How vile! There's water inside, and what's worse, is that it's clean! Back, I say. I wouldn't touch that bilge if it cured me of leprosy. That doesn't sound like... That makes... Hmm, I don't know. Okay, but I better wait till my timbers really get shivered. Then I'll unleash my wrath. Nie można żadnych. Do 
Co tu jeszcze może być? The poor thing is... The poor... And how the ho... No, thank They seem to lead to the deck. Okay, but be very careful. Whoever you are, I'm telling you to wait your turn behind the white line for devil's sake. Why, you're a prisoner! Congratulate me then, matey. Ah, you've escaped? You're the one who shackled me up. Did you think an Englishman like me wouldn't be able to break free? You're right, by devil. What happened then? The captain released me and made me a crew member. Me most swashbuckling congratulations, mate. So what sort of dog are you now? What? You know, matey, what canine nickname has our captain decided to christen you with? Shaggy Sheepdog? Nice choice, my devil. By the way, mine is Fussy Owl. What can I help you with, Shaggy Sheepdog? What can you tell me about the hidden beacon of Avalanche? Whatever you like, given that I'm a renowned expert on the topic. Did you know I recently gave a conference at the Symposium for Piracy and Evil Arts at Tortuga University? Is it true that the beacon shines during battle? True it is. When the captain places it on the figurehead, right before entering combat. Its blazing red light shines like a thousand infernos, causing bedazzlement and terror in the hearts of our unfortunate foes. When one mentions the hidden beacon of Avernus, what is one really talking about? The beacon is a stone originating from the very fires of El, and Satan used it in the days of yore as a beacon for all the vessels in the infernal fleet of the underworld sailing the mortal seas, indicating the bearing towards all good that could be turned into evil. Where is the beacon hidden? Now there you've got me stumped. Such information is secret and useless too, for only Captain Malantunez can touch it. Any other who by venture or undue rummaging might discover its location would have both fingers and hands burned to a crisp upon touching it and then will be chased by hell-bent orbs till the end of all time. Which is quite a long while, I hear. Isn't the devil upset by the fact that Malentunez has it now? Quite the opposite, matey. Though it's true Captain Malentunez swiped it most fiendishly, the Prince of Darkness is charmed with the outcome. For the Orion's recent performance in pillaging and evil has surpassed the forecasted amount for the infernal fleet of the underworld in a whole fiscal century. What Mr. Mephistopheles is a bit worried over is that Captain Malentunez disemboweled his beloved seven-tailed dragon and had the gall to cut out his tongue. How is it you be due to me memory and fine reasoning skills? Captain Malentunez soon comprehended that I was the intellectual soul of the Orion. So he sat down and explained everything he knows about the beacon to me, to pass on the knowledge. I think I know enough about the beacon now, Husky Hound. Do my tales horrify you? A thousand wretched pardons, matey. Why are you standing there? I'm doing me regular duty on the Orion, spitting out certificates to whoever needs one. Guard in the dungeon entrance, and given out the daily ration of grog to all the half-breed dogs on this crew. Serve me up a frosty mug of grog. Fine, devil, bring me a bottle, and I'll fill her up for you. But first, would you be so kind as to display your certificate for pirates of low moral standing? You'll simply have to trust me word, because I appear to Matey, you know we pirates don't trust anyone's word. I would like then bring me a form, and it'll be a pleasure. Third, first of all, a pirate worthy of his nectar you must come secondly, for which purpose you thirdly, and so I'll be giving you. Hit me with a. Let us begin. Question Who was the ship's cook and the famous crew of the ill fated Captain Flint? 
Baron Adria. Oi, devil! I'm surprised you know nothing of your own homeland's history. I regret to inform you that you failed the test. Chatting with life. On powiedział, że chce. On powiedział, że chce. Certificates of I. I'll take one of these. A certificate for pirates of low moral standing. No, bro. No, haven't passed all three tests yet. No, haven't. He's a nice one. Were he not so? Czyli mamy. What can I help? I'd like to take where in the question who was this? Oh, Jim Hawkins. Oh, devil! I'm surprised you know nothing of. Oh, this is Drugi. Drugi. I'd like to take the test. Where question? Who was the ship's cook in the famous crew? Corto by devil. Trzecie od końca. Billy Bones. Skąd ja mam to wiedzieć? I'd like to wear quest who was Doggy John. How do you get that right? Let's go. Doggy John. Question two. What was the original trade of Captain Blood, which was most convenient for someone wanting to become a bloodthirsty pirate? Sex, sir. Kurczak, Rzeźni. People should know the classics, I say. Try again once you've studied a bit more. Chandra. Say, say. What can I? I'd like to wear quick. What was it? Tantic people should know the classics, I say. Try again. Chatting with luck. Say, say. What can I help? Ammunition for the cannons. I'd wear quick what was hanging me. People should know the clock. Troy. Because I am Chuck Lock. And I owe you a say, say, what can I indeed? I'd like to wear quick. What was the original trade of the mask? Fucking air. That's a dancer. People should know the clock. Troy. Say, say, how say, huh? What can I help you with, shaggy sheepdog? I'd like to wear quest. What was that? Well done, boy. Let's move on to the next question. Free. How did Captain Swallow escape from the island where Captain Barbosa abandoned him for the first time? Co to kurde ma być? By filling a monkey's guts with hot air and using them to fly to the nearest island. You're not completely mistaken, but that didn't happen the first time. It occurred on later occasions. I'm sorry. Chat luck. What can I? 
Jakie to głupie, jeźdź! By building an 84 and a half mile long bridge using the hairs on his back. You're not complete on. Chatting with. Jakie to nudne. Skąd ja mam to wiedzieć? To jak była tej barmanki, to było chociaż wiadomo, że bo było kiedyś. A to. By inventing turtle surfing, as everyone knows. Quite inventive indeed. And to think, some people dare say he was rescued by a boat of rum traffickers completely by chance. Anyway, you must answer one final query. By means yeah. of an ingenious combination of trips, did the four pirates of Lentil Cove reach the Caribbean Express port of call on Chickpea Island? What? I know it's a silly question, so I'll give you some background information. At the beginning of their careers, peg-legged pirates Henry Woblins, Diego El Cojuelo, Jean-David Leclope, and Jao de Pasoromo did not possess their own ships. So they set sail on the Caribbean Express, headed for Chickpea Island, where they found treasure map H94856 in Lentil Cove. Like good pirates, they were mischievous rogues who fought over the map for days. Until exhaustion led them to tear the map in four and cooperate with each other. The last Caribbean Express was to pass through Chickpea Island eight days later. Because it was early in the morning, they had eight and a half days to get back to the port. The problem was that during the ruffianesque brawl, they lost three of their four wooden legs. They decided they'd return to the port in pairs with one pirate wearing the sole remaining peg leg and the other leaning upon him. Afterward, one of the two would return to Lentil Cove using the wooden leg, then forming a new pair to return to the port, and so on until all four could reach the boat's point of arrival. The order they chose was to be of the utmost importance, because some were faster than others. Henry Woblin stuck a pebble into his boot, because the pain in his soul would increase his speed. And therefore, though he weighed more than a sperm whale, he was able to reach the port in just one half of a day. Diego El Cojuelo was used to running, and even though this time he was wearing garments and there was no cuckold in hot pursuit of him, he could still reach the port in one day. John David Leclope bragged he was the lightest of the lot, but he'd ingested some stomach-wrenching berries that forced him to lower his breeches every 15 steps. Wherefore, he would take two and one half days to make the same journey. João de Passaromo was the world record holder in poultry chasing. But it took him no less than five days to walk the distance to the port. Because after a violent bout of hunger, he'd snapped on five of the five toes on his remaining foot. I'll sum up the situation for you. Henry Woblins took half a day to reach the port. Diego El Cojuelo took one day. Jean David Leclope, two and a half, and Joao de Passaromo, five. They only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port eight and a half days later. And every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Co to kuźwa ma być? Jakaś inteligentna gadka kurna? John David and therefore it took them two and a half days. Now tell me, which of them returned to Lentil Cove with the wooden leg? John David all told that makes a total of five days. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the port? Well, all told, that made ten days. Sorry, man. Tell me, like, first of all, you second, for which pet to are. Oh, oh, so? I could... 
Chutton If he tried out for pa oh, no, no. Were he not so loyal to Malentunius, I'd let him join me crew. No, no, no. No, no. Say, say. What can I help you with? Chutton like what? Si es que de acabar colgando Se se Pues morir de rock What can I help? Tell me like I First of all A pirate worm So you must commit Secondly For which purpose You must thirdly So I'll be giving you a Hit me with the ruffianism test, Husky Hound. Where in the blazes were we at? Oh yeah, I'll sum up the situation for you. Henry Warblins took half a day to reach the port. They all and they're and they're, and they're five dead. Now tell me, which of them returned to Lentil Cove with the wooden leg? Sean David Leclerc. All told, that makes a total of seven and a half days. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the port? Sean David Leclerc and Diego El Cojuelo. All told, that makes a total of 10 days. Sorry, mate. Chatting with. Say, say, Hussey Hound. What? What, what do you but you Hit me. I'll s Henry Warblins took half a day to reach the port. Diego El Cojuelo. Henry Robbins potrzebuje. Jean David Leclope two and a half. And João de Passaromo five. They only had one wooden leg and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port eight and a half days later. And every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? John did, and therefore it took two and a half days. Now tell me, which of them returned to Lent? Henry, all told, that makes a total three days. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the... Henry Wadlands and Joao de Passaromo. All told the eight days. Now, tell me, which of the three pirates are... Sean, all told, that makes a total of ten and a half days. Sorry, matey. I forgot to see your jet. So what? Moral of drowned it because after a you see? The more jump, but wherefore it you see? The more you see? The more and you see? How did with it like until it does become a problem with data and so on? The order they the more and then you see? The more but where you see? Nie, to jest długie. Trzeba to gdzieś zapisać. Tell me about the test required to obtain a certificate for pirates of low moral standing. Trzeba to zapisać. What well do you but in your left? Hit me where I'll sum up Henry Wolf, the only act and every in that the ship cocoon does a ship Diego and they're five dead. Now tell me. Joao all ten Chatting with you like Say say how What can I Your general. So what? I'd 
like to swear all Henry Warblings took off a day to reach the port. Diego El Cohuelo took one day. Jean de Diego El Cohuelo five. They only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port. Eight and a half days later, and every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Okay. Chat. Were he not so long? There was such. Were he not so long? First of them, you must secondly, for which purpose, thirdly, any part, so I'll be giving you a little. What's well, most involved cause the use, but in your case, since we can't be losing any members of the crew right now, or our prisoner, Fifi Foxhound, you'll have to come up with something else. Hit me with the ruffian. Where in the blazes were we at? Oh yeah, I'll sum up the situation for you. Henry Warblins took half a day to reach the port. Diego El Cohuelo took one day. Jean David Leclope two and a half. Diego. And Joao de Pasaromo five. Diana. They only had yeah. one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port. Eight and a half days later, oh, shimmy, every yeah. pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Niehofe, Fipas. Powinien piąty chyba zrobić Jean. Jean. And uh, two jugs, two jugs, two Diego, Joan Passissimo. Jean David, Jean David Dva, Henry Williams, Pooh. John David Leclerc and Henry Wobblins. And therefore it took them two and a half days. Now tell me, which of them returned a lentil cold with a wooden leg? Henry Henry Wobblins. All told, that makes a total of three days. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the port? Dobra. Zrobiliśmy to. Pierwszy to to. Potem pierwszy. Teraz Jean. Jean. Henry Wadlands and Joao de Passaromo. All told, that makes a total of eight days. Now, tell me, which of the Co-wake, Co-wake. Returned to Lentil Cove with a wooden leg. Co-wake. Henry Wadlands. All told, that makes a total of eight and a half days. But because all four pirates didn't make it to the Caribbean Express port of call, I regret to say that you didn't pass the exam. Think a little harder, matey. Chatting with life. If there was some... Say, say, husband. What can I help? I'd like where our Henry Wobblins took half a day to reach the port. Diego Henry Wobbins, Jean David Leclerc, Diego, and Joao de Passaromo, five. 
They only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it Paul, Eight Knot, and every... And No, nie pamiętam, no kurde, Jego, nie pamiętam. Henry Woblins took off a day to reach the port. They only had one and every. And that. No, nie można tego zatrzymać, kurde. Ja chciałem to zapisać, kurde. Jeź, jakie to. Zapiszę sobie. Yeah. Klopę. Klopę. Diego. Diego. El. Jeszcze kogo nie mamy? Jeszcze. Jo, a od pas sormo. Henry and now tell. Henry, don't get which was Henry. Now. Diego, all seven, which was the third? Jean David, all ten dead. Sorry, matey. Chatting with you. Like. Say, say, Hussey Hound. What can I help? Where else? Henry Woblins took off. Henry Woblins. Diego El Corbello took one day. Jean David, Jean Diego. And João de Passaromo, five. They only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port eight and a half days later. And every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Dwa, a ten pół. Hmm. No to zaraz. I mają jedną nogę. Jedną nogę mają. To najpierw powinien... Ten co pięć dni. Henry Wobin i jo... Pasamo. Pasamo je. Klopa. Joao de Passaro, and therefore it took them five days. Now tell me, which of them returned to Lentil Cove with the wooden leg? Passamo, niet, kol klope bo klope dwa dni, a źle zrobił. What can I help? And where in the I'll sum up the situation for you. Henry Woblins took off again to reach the port. To be put in the dung dung way. Jean David John David Ecope, Joao Passimo Pien. Only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port eight and a half days later. And every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Henry Vobini, Jai de Passamo.
Genuine beans. Henry Wadlands and Joao de Passaromo. PHP and therefore note. it took them five days. Now tell me, which of them returned to Lentil Cove with the wooden leg? Beans. Oh, beans. Well, Henry Wadlands. All told, that makes a total of... Five and a half days. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the fourth? Ten już jest skreślony przez przez pięć pudnia. Henry Wobin, Jen Wodowolkopa. Henry Wobin. New Volt Hope de Janeiro Tylko ten powinien być uh, Henry Wobin i Jean John David Leclerc and Henry Wobin All told that makes a total of eight days Now tell me which of the three pirates at the port returned to Lentil Cove with a wooden leg? Henry was all told that makes a total of eight and a half days. But because all four pirates didn't make it to the Caribbean Express port of call, I regret to say that you didn't pass the exam. Think a little harder, matey. Chatting with like. Say, say, Huxley Ham. What can I help you with, Shaggy Sheepdog? Where in the house some of Henry Wobblins took half a day to reach the port? Diego El Cojuelo took one day. John David Leclope, two and a half. And João de Passaromo only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port eight and a half days later. And every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jeden, półtore, jeden. Trzy, cztery. Co? Przecież masz kur na komórkę, co? Aha, już się zaczyna. Co, co się zaczyna? Co chcesz poruszyć? Jaki Wobin. temat? Słucham. Dawaj. Henry Wobblin and Diego El Cojuelo. And therefore it took them one day. Now tell me, which of them returned a lentil cold with the world? Henry Wadland. All told, that makes a total of a day and a half. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the port? Wobin and Jane Vallelope. Co? Ten się dostał. Ładalopej Wobin. 
John David Lechnoplay and Henry Wadlin. All told, that makes a total of four days. Now, tell me, which of the three pirates at the port returned to Lentil Cove with a wooden leg? Henry Wadlin. All told, that makes a total of four and a half days. Which was the third pair to walk from Lentil Cove to the port? Henry Wadlands and Joao de Passeromo. All told, that makes a total of nine and a half days. Sorry, matey, but... Chatting with... If he tried out for Pirate Idol, it would make for some laughs. Say, say, Hubsy Ham. What can I help you with, shaggy sheepdog? Ich bin so Ich Tell me if like I got first of all a pirate worthy of his name, so you must commit one secondly, a pirate for which purpose you thirdly in so after What's well most involved the usual, but in your case, you'll have to come up with something else. Hit me with a ruffian as well. Where in the blazes were we at? Oh yeah, I'll sum up Henry Wobblins took half a day to reach the port. Diego El Cojuelo took one day. Jean David Leclope two and a half. And Joao de Pasaromo five. They only had one wooden leg, and the Caribbean Express was going to call it port eight and a half days later. And every pair would take at least the time needed by the slower of the two to get to the port. In that case, which two pirates were the first to go to the port of call? Henry Wadlands and Joao de Passeromo. And therefore it took them five days. Now tell me, which of them returned to Lentil Cove with the wooden leg? Henry Wadlands. All told, that makes a total of five and a half days. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the port? Ale tak działa Hydro, bo stary, ja te, teraz bym pewnie przejechał albo jutro i dał, oddawę to testuję. Jak mi zdarowy z wypadnie już ten mil spec, 
to znaczy, że Kate Rock będzie oddawał, dlatego że mnie dawno nie było. Zawsze tak to jest. Jak cię długo nie ma na czym, na jakiejś stronie, to masz podpustowane szanse. Ile to może kosztować? Z 5 zł. Wiem już jak. Teraz pomyślę, bo, bo miałem to, to i mi uciekło. Trzy. Trzy. Trzy, trzy. Cztery i pół. Trzy, cztery i pół. 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 5. Ja to już. Teraz. Ostatni musi być Passamo i Henry Robin. Ale kto pierwszy? Albo. To jest pół, to jeden i Jeden i pół. Jeden i pół. Plus. Trzy. Plus. Pięć. Pięć. Dziewięć i pół. Miałem to. Kurde, już wymyśliłem i nie wiem gdzie. Trzy. Miałem to już wyleciało. Pół. Aj, pół. To trzy. Aj, pół. Trzy. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Jak to zrobić? Waj pół. Waj pół jeden. To będzie trzy, cztery. Pięć i pół. Sześć. Dziesięć. Jak to zrobić? Ostatnio muszą być Henry Robin i Jim Passim. Dzielmy to. Ostatnią będą na końcu przejdziemy. Na końcu będą pięć. Wcześniej muszą pięć, A, pięć, no tak, pięć będą, ostatni będą pół, pięć i pół muszą być, to zostaje pięć, Sześć, siedem, osiem i pół. Trzy i pół. Wchodzi na to, że musi być Zostaje jeden. To tak, ten będzie jeden, jeden i pół, dwa i pół, to trzy. Co zróbmy to? Zaraz. Jeden. Pięć. Tu wychodzi dziesięć. No kurde, wychodzi dziesięć. I tak. Muszą być ostatnie.
ostatnie. Coś musi być ostatnie. 5,5 najmniej. Daj pół trzy, cztery i pół, pięć, sześć, siedem, dziewięć. Co nie będzie tak, tylko jak? Zacznijmy od tego agendy L do kopę. Dwaj pół bubins. Ten pół. To trzy. Pierwsze łobins. Pierwsze będzie trzy dni. Trzy dni. Ten łobins Diego Ecolejlo. Diego. Pierwszy. Będzie jeden i pół dnia. Joe Passimo i Joel Klopp Passimo Siedem i pół Siedem i pół to będzie trzecia opcja Siedem i pół Diego Coleilo i John Passimo. John... Będzie 6 dni. Łopis i Passimo. Pięć i pół dnia. Już to miałem, to już widziałem. Henry Wobbis i Diego Colupello. Henry Wobbis i Diego El Cojuelo. I dlatego to było jeden dzień. Teraz powiedz mi, który z nich wrócił do Lentil Cove z wooden leg? Wobbins. Henry Wobbins. All told, that makes a total of a day and a half. Don't get your waistcoat in a wad. You're not doing bad. Which was the second pair to walk to the port? A z której? Z której? W sensie z jak ile, ile musiałeś otworzyć? No a Patrykowi za 5 stóp z pierwszej wypadła, ale debil nie sprzedał. Pięć, sześć, siedem. Osiem, dziewięć. Może 
Чмоза, дракну, чмоза. Henry Wadlin and Joao de Passaromo. Told that makes a total of six and a half days. Now, tell me, which of the three pirates at the port returned to Lentil Cove with a wooden leg? Henry Wadlin. All told, that makes a total of seven days. Which was the third pair to walk from Lentil Cove to the port? John David Leclerc and Henry Wadlin. All told, that makes a total of nine and a half days. Sorry, mate. Hmm. Not there. A Łukasz Konica to by zabił tego tam. I'm doing me red spitting and giving out the daily ration of raw to all the half. Your work is. It's loaded. This. What can I help you with, shaggy sheepdog? Wiem jak. Wiem jak już. Pięć, sześć, siedem, osiem i pół, trzy i pół. Dwa, 
Ай, по... По... Ты, я показываю вам так, бабушка. Попьем ринга.